Jason's been working hard over here packing up camp while I've been in there <laughs> showering and <laughs> getting ready. Uh, but I'm not hopping in the plane. I'm going to hop in my car and drive back home because I drove up here. Uh, we both got to work today, so we got to head out. Uh, take a look around here. Information Papa 1353 Zulu weather. Wind 040 at Niner, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 182.12, altimeter 3021. Runway 27 and runway 36 left in use. VFR departures follow the direction of the EAA flagman to the departure runway. Do not call ground control for taxi. VFR aircraft departing runway 27. Monitor FAA controllers on frequency 128.75 for departure instruction. All right, guys, we got the departure radius. We're going to taxi out. Leave an Osh. Jamie's over here. And Oshkosh Tower. Uh, B-17, we're 10 to the uh, north, inbound. B-17, hold a half mile north of prison and let me know when you're there. Okay, hold a half mile north, and we're 2,500 feet. Taxiing out. <clears throat> I don't have my voice. B-17, cost for a stuck mic, and it may be several minutes or longer north of the prison. Uh, we are looking at potentially changing runways, and we've got some mess to clean up before we get that even done. Slowing on the runway, clear for takeoff runway 9. All right, runway guys. nine departures by heading zero four zero to zero nine or zero until clear of the class delta airspace. I think we're getting ready to Next depart. Wing line up and wait runway nine. Good. We made it. Here's follow the high wing runway nine at Bravo two line up and wait. Only about thirty minutes. High wing on the runway runway nine clear for takeoff. Mooney uh, runway nine at Bravo two line up and wait. Sirius, runway 9, clear for takeoff. And my low wing looks like a twin. Runway 9 and Bravo 2, line up and wait behind the money. Booney, runway 9, clear for takeoff. Hey, twin runway nine, clear for takeoff. At a blue and looks like gold low wing, runway nine, right side, line up and wait. All right, gauges are in the green. And my white low wing behind that one, uh, runway Fuel nine, left side, line up and wait. Airspeed's alive. It looks like a twin, left side, uh, runway nine, line up and wait. 70. Two on wing at Bravo two, or zero, left side, right side, line up and wait. So 90. just uh, follow the spot ahead of you. Rotate. And my detail runway nine, clear for takeoff. That's the brakes, gear coming up. Got my uh, high wing tail dragger runway nine left side line up and wait.
And my low wing on the runway, runway 9, clear for takeoff. Our damper is off. Tail dragger on the runway, one way, runway 9, clear for takeoff. My uh, low wing looks like the last uh, letter Sierra. Runway Do 9, right off. side of Bravo 2, line up and wait. Milwaukee Approach, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie's about 15 south of Fond du Lac, looking for flight following to Aurora, if able. Aircraft looking for flight following, uh, unable at this time. Twin Cessna 1, Bravo, Charlie, roger. Well, guys, can't get flight following around here this time during the air show, just because there's tons of people that depart. You got to pay extra attention. You should always look out when you're VFR, but I do enjoy talking to air traffic and have flight following. That was actually Do not so bad. Terminated contact, walk shot targeting. I thought we would be on the ground much longer than we were. Turns out I think it was about a 25 minute, uh, I'll have to look back and see, departure delay because they were changing configurations. They had all those guys taxied out for 2-7 and then they decided, I mean in an ideal situation, it's nice to start taxiing to the new runway and then let all the people that were already taxied out depart. But there's probably a really good reason why that did why that didn't happen. We got out pretty quickly. I thought for sure that whole Congo line of nine would go in front of us, but I think we were just right place, right time. There's an airplane off the left, 900 feet above us. We're 30 minutes from home, doing 195 knots. And gonna keep our eyes peeled until somebody lets us have flight following. Which at this point is probably gonna be Chicago approach. Guys, we appreciate everybody that came out and spoke to me and Jamie. We did the light speed meet and greet from ten to we ran a little over. We went to about eleven thirty uh, on Thursday morning. And that was uh, a great turnout. We really appreciate all you guys. Honestly, just wish we had longer to, to be able to talk to people. We had so much fun there, just walking around, watching the air show, the night air show, hanging out with some of my friends, Martin Pauly and Brian Turner. Got to hang out with Steve. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of people, but thank you all for a great show. And hopefully we'll get to see a lot of y'all up there next year, possibly places in between. Jamie, what was your favorite part of the flight? Or, here, we'll do that. We can act like that's Jamie. What was your favorite part of the trip? She uh, is driving, she's in her car. So we're gonna probably smoke her by about two and a half hours. <laughs> she would not have enjoyed that departure the guy stayed down low, and maybe I made a mistake, but it clearly states runway 27 departures at or below 1300 until clear of the Delta, which we always do. Runway 36 at or below 1300, runway 18 at or below 1300. It clearly states that everywhere in here, but runway nine, it does not state that. It just says fly 40 heading through a 90 heading till clear of the Delta. It looked like a lot of those guys were staying down low, and if the controller told me to do that when he cleared me, I did not catch it. So I'm climbing like a banshee. Well, that Mooney, even though I was climbing and he leveled off, I still caught him. And I could see on my active traffic that he was beneath me. Well, now I'm uncomfortable because I have a low wing and I don't want anybody underneath me that I know is climbing. So I had to turn and there was guys off the left. So I just turned a little shimmy to the right to try to be able to see if I could pick him up down there and was unsuccessful. So I just kept climbing at 1500 feet per minute. And then eventually he was no longer a factor on the uh, traffic screen, but I, she would not have enjoyed not seeing the guy that we caught. But I thought Tower did great with the spacing. I mean, he left, Mooney's are fast, but 
they're not 310 fast unless you're an acclaim and you're getting up to the thin air then they can smoke me but anyway just gonna relax a bit get back to the hangar unload one bravo charlie who is quite full then we'll get to work we had tons of people give us some great ideas on the wet, on our west coast swing so obviously we don't have a whole lot of time to be able to do everything but we have a good list going so we can compile that to be able to uh come up with a cool west coast trip this fall traffic 10 just do not see that guy oh, there he is. Block five one four six and stand by traffic and traffic picks him up passing off your right wing now when air traffic won't help you three seven quebec roger and we have him Nice to have that. Number 304 six. your radar contact, 12 miles to the east, 2700. 304 or 946. Chicago Approach, Twin Cessna 771 Bravo. Charlie's over Lake Geneva, head to Aurora, looking for flight following if you can do it. Sure, over Geneva, just give me your call sign again, I didn't catch it. Yep, November 771 Bravo Charlie, 310. 771 Bravo Charlie, squad 5150, 5150. 5151 BC, thanks, and we do have Lee Matt Aurora. Bonanza 37, Quebec, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles, 2,500 feet off the direction. We're talking to the Chicago approach, we're in good Quebec hands. Roger, we're uh, looking. 7 Quebec, if you don't have them in sight, start to climb out of 3,000. Yeah. 7 Quebec, Roger. 771 Bravo Charlie, radar contact, 4,500. BC, thanks, Andy. One Bravo Charlie, traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles, 4,500 indicated northwestbound. One Bravo Charlie is searching. Bravo Charlie, flighting 160 for traffic. One BC heading 160. One Bravo Charlie, traffic's passing off your right now, no factor, resume on navigation. One BC, thanks for the vector. The guy working us now. I told this story flying with John, I think, in the airplane in one of my past videos. But he was in like a powered parachute type of situation, you know, you're hanging out there. And he had an opposite direction hawk to helmet or some huge bird. They collided. What a terrible thing when you're hanging out there. So the story's pretty funny when he tells it. 771 Bravo Charlie, approach now 133.5. 3351 BC, we'll see it. Okay, Kevin. Chicago approach, Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, it's descending through 3500 with Lima for Aurora. Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, very good, and just looking for flight following today, Kevin? Yep, just going full stop to Aurora and put her away and get to work. Ready. We'll, we'll, we can't wait to have you. <laughs> it's Brock. Remember, not 1909 Mike, climb maintain 13000. Okay, 13000 Mike. Man, the visibility is so nice today, guys. Holy moly. One Bravo Charlie, traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles north, northwest bound indicates 2500. One Bravo Charlie searching and do at the field site. Bravo Charlie, very good. He is in Aurora's Delta. You can contact Aurora Tower and keep the code. We'll see you. One Bravo Charlie, see you, Brock. Two. Aurora Tower, Twin Cessna 771. Bravo Charlie is eight miles to the north. Lima, full stop. Twin Cessna 771. Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower. Enter. Left down one, runway nine, report two out. Traffic is assessed now at the field northwest south. One Bravo Charlie, uh, Wilco. November 1, Bravo Charlie, you can uh, fly uh, southwest bound for the uh, left downwind, left base for runway niner. Okay, 1, Bravo Charlie, and uh, we're actually starting to turn now for the left downwind niner. November 1, Bravo Charlie, did you copy? Uh, yes, ma'am. 1, Bravo Charlie is turning left downwind for runway nine. November 1, Bravo Charlie, you can bring it on in. Runway niner, clear to land with 050 at 7. Traffic from the southwest will follow you. 1, Bravo Charlie, copy all. Runway nine, clear to land. November 8, Romeo Alpha, from your position, just fly straight northbound for about a four-mile final. You'll be number two, follow twins. 
On our left downwind for rolling niner. Uh, fly straight in final, four mile final, uh, will be number two in sequence, three miles four for eight, Romeo Alpha. November 8, Romeo Alpha, roger, fly uh, straight northbound for the four mile final for Romeo Niner. Straight northbound for a four mile, four mile final, three miles four for eight, Romeo Alpha. All right, fuel pumps on low, fuel's on the mains. Undercarriage, we've got three in the green. Even though this light doesn't ever show on the camera, I can see it really good in here. Mixtures and props are pretty good. Man, it November is one, bumpy. Romeo Alpha, cross runway 33. It is bumpy, y'all. And switches off. I took the autopilot off a little bit ago. Alrighty, turn it on to final. Getting bumped around pretty good. Traffic. Your traffic's on uh, short final. You can bring it on in. Runway Niner cleared to land. Wind zero five zero at seven. Runway Niner cleared to land. Traffic in sight. Remote four for eight. Runway Alpha. Oh, nice touchdown. Almost. Wind kind of picked up the right wing just a little bit. November 1 Bravo, Charlie, where are you parking? Skyhaven. November 1 Bravo, one Bravo, Charlie, keep it rolling. We start right at the end at Alpha 1 to Skyhaven, just monitor ground point 7 as you take the end, have a good one. Alpha 1, monitor ground, 1 Bravo, Charlie, thank you very much, have a good day. That was very nice. Oshkosh 2021, that's a wrap, y'all. Thanks for, again, for everybody's support up at Oshkosh and everybody's support with the video and the channel. We appreciate it very much and looking forward to some more fun trips to show you guys our continued aviation adventures. So stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.